Let's begin by familiarizing ourselves with the LabQuest 2. In this example, you can see the connections on the left side. Uh, these are directional connections, and the little white tie-up has to be facing downward. In the upper left corner, you can see the icon that will bring you back to the home screen. The File tab is just like any other file tab on a program that you've used in Windows. C select this if you wish to open a file that you've saved, or if you wish to save a file that you have just completed. Here you can see where you can switch between graph and table mode by clicking the two little icons at the top. Directly below that is the mode drop down box. Here's where you're going to select events with entry. This is the events with entry screen. Make sure you type the variable name that you're studying in the name box. For our first lab, this would be puffs. Then include the units. For volume, this could be milliliters, and temperature, this could be degrees Celsius. When you're satisfied, click the OK button. So let's review. Make sure you're on the main screen of the LabQuest 2. Make sure your probes are properly plugged in and are registering on the main screen. In the upper right hand corner from the Mode drop down box, select Events with Entry. And then on the Events with Entry screen, make sure that you have typed your variable name and whatever unit that you need for that variable. Finish by selecting OK. Now, let's begin our first lab. Begin by adding 10 milliliters of air to your syringe. Once you have 10 milliliters, connect the syringe to the gas pressure sensor using the lure lock connection. Make sure this is finger tight, but not so tight that you warp the connection. Now pull the plunger back to 20 milliliters. While you are holding the plunger at 20 milliliters, your lab partner will need to hit the keep button and add in how many puffs this is equal to. Remember in our experiment 2 milliliters equals 1 puff. So if you start with 10 milliliters of air you've added 5 puffs. Let's review the steps. You're going to add an even amount of air to the syringe and then attach it to the gas pressure sensor. Pull the plunger back to the 20 milliliter mark while your lab partner taps the keep button. If you don't see the keep button, you need to hit the play button first. After you tap the keep button, your partner will enter the number of puffs you are measuring. Remember, one puff equals two milliliters. Repeat this process until you have at least five data points.